I'm about to leave and get something, but I'm back. Okay. So, hey, what is up, guys? It's Mo and the Hizzle, and today I am back with another YouTube video. And today I am going to be doing a nice special effects peeled face look. So, this will be my second voiceover, which is pretty exciting. Of course, I got to put something to watch while I do this because I'm going to get bored. Ah, the beautiful makeup. And in a little, little, little bit, I will be showing you guys the things you'll need. So you're going to need greaser cream makeup. Those are, that's my thing full of makeup. Something to blend with, anything to blend with. Old or not frequently used foundations. Natural colored eyeshadows. And with the foundation thing, you need um, those because you're going to be using a lot of it. Fake blood pretty self-explanatory blending materials for colored makeup so like blending materials that it's okay if they get dirty or stained non-toxic glue or latex which works better and cotton balls all right so pushing your things to the side first thing you want to do is take your cotton ball and put your finger through like the middle hole type thing that you would see in it so you're going to put your finger all the way through it and unwrap it just like glam and gore would do, which is how I learned this trick. So just unwrapping it while it's around your finger. <clears throat> and there you go. Now you're just left with a long strand of cotton and you're going to peel that in half. So now you've got two. Okay, so now I'm just thinking of where I'm going to stick it on my face. Alright, so here I'm just applying like a thin strip of glue across the strand of cotton. And putting it straight onto my face right where I want it. Adjusting it as I go. Here you go. You can watch that. It doesn't have to be perfectly across the edge of your face. But there you go. Just dabbing it on. And it will stick nicely. I used glue for this. Just non-toxic glue. Doing it for the next part. Which I am just going to make it look like half my face was peeled. And lastly. Putting on a last strip to cover it up. I don't know if I said this yet, but um, the natural eyeshadows aren't a need. I actually didn't use them, but that's why I put optional on the bottom. I guess I forgot to say that, but just for you guys, so that you guys know. And now I'm going to take my foundation and squirt it all across the cotton. Because, I mean, it doesn't look realistic at all. If it's white, if it's like that, so find your... Um, actual skin color and just dab it on dab on your foundation and blend that out and one sec i gotta go wash my hands <laughs> so now i am just blending that out all right so now it's that it's all blended out it doesn't look perfect um, I might, if I were you, try and, like, peel off the layers of cotton first so it doesn't look as cottony. I don't know if you guys understand that, but I just mean peel off, like, the top layers. So now I'm taking my grease makeup and just doing, like, lining the outside in a reddish color. Like, a scar type thing. Just going all the way around your line of scar a 
and you're not filling it in, making it thick or anything, just to make it look like there's just a little bit of scarring. And here we are finished with that. Looks pretty, pretty creepy, pretty gross and cool right now, though. And now that is called like a. Oh, I just I just looked it up. One second. Okay, it's called a stipple sponge, and I'm putting the fake blood on the stipple sponge. I don't know if anybody else does this, but this is how I do it. I just feel like it works nice. You know what I mean? So just applying some fake blood, which at this part you would probably want to use a little bit more than I do. It's just I was running out of fake blood, so I was using it sparingly, but you could probably use more. I'm sorry if you can hear people in the background. But yes, I would probably use a little bit more than I than I use. And there you go. So once you get probably more than me, like I've said like six times, that's how you do it. And now let's cut to like a montage, I guess. Okay, sorry to make us cut back to like the happiness, but this is how I would take it off. Um, so I'm rubbing it with a dry cotton ball, which the reason why I wouldn't just like wash my face with soap and water is because last time I did that, it actually stained. I don't know if it's just like the quality of fake blood that I have, but it did stain when I did that. So I like to do this. I wipe it with a um, dry cotton ball and then I go and I get a wet one and then I proceed to do the same exact thing but with a wet cotton ball which I don't really know why I showed you all this I think you guys understand how to wipe your face but yeah and in a second I will be done hopefully and then I'm just wiping my face with a towel because, well, a paper towel because, I don't know. You could just be a normal person and go get a washcloth. Or you could be like me and be too lazy to walk out of the kitchen. Yep, and I'm going to proceed to show you guys me wiping my face over and over and over again. Like you guys even want to see that. <laughs> so thank you guys so so much for watching make sure you push that bell down below so you can get notified every single time i post like comment subscribe and go check out some of my other videos you guys know what to say it with me now cue the outro you will be mine.